Welcome to Koinonia Worship Replay, where your spirit, your faith will be strengthened up as the word of the Lord come through your way by his servant, Apostle Joshua Sermon. So we urge you to stay and connect your faith with him and the Lord will do wonders in your life. And we urge you to also subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification button to be notified. The second reason why people do not make progress in life and destiny is because of wrong limiting belief systems. Wrong limiting belief systems. I have taught extensively in this house that what you believe determines the reality that you walk in. It is true. Wrong or limiting belief systems. We have coined those belief systems with all kinds of sayings. All kinds of sayings. Maybe sociologically acceptable, but they are scripturally wrong. Hallelujah. For instance, when someone fails, the first thing he can say is, who have I troubled that all this trouble is coming upon me? It may not always be trouble. I've told you that demonic interferences are not the only limitations to the lives of people. Let me tell you the truth. If Satan is bound today physically, kept in a location, and every demon is bound, kept in a location, many will still fail. That is when they will know that Satan is not entirely responsible for, you have a will, and your will can determine whether you succeed or fail. In Genesis 11, the Holy Spirit was not mentioned. Satan was not mentioned. Angels were not mentioned. Demons were not mentioned. Yet there was success and there was failure. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 1, there was no generational causes. There was no, no family ties. There was no whatever. Genesis chapter 1, Adam did not come with any generational cause. He didn't come with any limitation. Yet he still succeeded and he still failed. So if you are blaming the devil for all your problems, you will be learning tonight that your orientation is wrong. That in itself is a limiting belief system. Are we together? Poor or limiting beliefs. Many people have very poor beliefs. I'll give you an instance. There are people today who believe that their success is tied at the hand of one uncle or one father or one mother and would not take responsibility over their lives. We continue to pray that God helps our government and all who are in power to keep doing the best that they do to make this nation better. But there are many young people who just fold their arms and then just cheaply blame any other thing and any other person aside themselves. There are people, it doesn't matter who comes, they will never rise because intrinsically they are defeated from their mind. I taught you in Koinonia here that everything in destiny is built twice. It is first built in your mind before it is built physically. If you build anything once, you will lose it. The building that comes in your mind is more stable and superior to the one that is physical. Because if that one is destroyed and the one in your mind is not destroyed, you will rebuild it again. There are people who lost money. They only lost physical money. In their minds, they were still wealthy. They got back their wealth with time. Are we together now? You must cry for a very superior mindset. How about the popular African proverb, one day go better? Huh. No. I've taught you that time does not change anything. Waiting for time to change things is a total waste of time. You invest in time and you command your own possibility by engaging the world through obedience. Just sitting down idly and saying one day you will see. You are laughing at me today, tomorrow you will see. That statement is only right if you are doing something. If you fold your arms and just allow life to be, you will grow old having that same experience recycled. Anyone here who is a victim of negative programming, poor or destructive thinking that is keeping you limited, keeping you unspiritual, keeping you poor, keeping you lazy in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Here at this miracle service tonight, may your deliverance begin. I said, may your deliverance begin. Spirituality is a mindset. Spiritual laziness is a mindset. Carnality is a mindset. Poverty is a mindset. Prosperity is a mindset. Leadership is a mindset. A beggarly life is a mindset. Mediocrity is a mindset. Giving up is a mindset. Endurance is a mindset. Consistency is a mindset.